Number three, in terms of the kinetic molecular theory, in which ways are liquids similar to gases and in what ways are liquids different from gases? All right. So I pulled up a picture here of what a liquid would look like and what a gas would look like of basically the same uh, atom, right? So we have liquids. Now remember, liquids are denoted as just an L if we see them on a balanced equation, and gases are denoted as a G on balanced equations. So as we can see here, the similarities between them which are not kinetic molecular theory based, is just that they're made up of atoms, right? Each of these red dots, or these red balls, those are the atoms that are encompassing a liquid and a gas. So the only thing here is that we just have to talk about it in terms of the connect kinetic molecular uh, theory. And when they're talking about kinetic molecular theory, we're talking about kinetic energy. And remember that kinetic energy is always the energy of movement. So moving around. Now, in this case, as we can see here, liquids have some kinetic energy as represented by these little lines here. These lines are representing that these molecules are moving around, they can pass each other, but they're not as crazy movement as gases. We can see here that these big, big, big lines are representing a lot of movement like, shoo, onto that wall, shoo, onto this wall. And they just keep bouncing off of the whole container. And it kind of looks like a, I have no idea, a blue Christmas tree. <laughs> and there's the ornaments, right? How cool is that? Yeah, this is called abstract art. <laughs> anyway, so you kind of get the hint here. But meanwhile, the liquids, they're just kind of like vibrating, shifting a little bit. But as you can see that some of the atoms are still closely packed together. So we could talk about that in terms of a difference between them, right? The difference is how much they move. Gases have way more freedom since they have, so we'll say gases, have higher kinetic energy. That means that they will move at a much faster rate. Move at a, you know, higher rate, faster rate, doesn't really matter what word you use there. It just means that they're faster. And the gases, on the other hand, since they have low amounts of kinetic energy, they're just going to be moving at a slower pace or a slower rate. Now, basically, the similarities here is that, well, since we pinpointed that they both can move, that would be a similarity. Both liquids and gases are able to move in their container. Now, keep in mind that they both are, you know, they both have an indefinite shape, which means that their shape is going to be confined to whatever the container they're located in, right? If I take a liquid and if I take a gas and I throw it into a different shape container, the molecules are going to arrange in a very, very different manner, but it's always because of the shape of the container that they're in. Now, let's just point out one more difference, and then I think we've got it covered. Now, we talked about, you know, that gases have more kinetic energy, they can move at a higher rate, but also take note as to where those gases go in that container. Those gases, since they're moving at a much, much faster rate, they're more reactive and they can move all throughout the container. Keep in mind the liquids, are any of the liquids going up here? 
No, right? Generally speaking, if you have a certain liquid and you pour it into a container, all the liquid is going to drop to the bottom. It's not that you have, you know, a bunch of liquid here and then all of a sudden you, you have some liquid up here. Mm -mm. The liquid will all pool down at the bottom of the container and majoritively will stay there. I mean, yeah, you get a little bit of droplets on the side, but that is something completely different. Those are talking about intermolecular forces. But just one more difference here is that gases have the freedom to move all throughout the container. Liquids, on the other hand, just like we said, they are not going to be moving all throughout the container. They are confined to the shape of the container. And that's basically the end of this. So, similarity, they both have kinetic energy, so they both can move, but the difference is how much kinetic energy, and because of that, gases are able to move anywhere in that container. I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I hope you're having a great day out there. Let's keep studying, keep learning, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.